Okay, so we're taking a page from April Zilg. Um, she did a really cool video on a sawhorse comparison of two of her canoes. We're gonna put her video link down below in the comment section so you guys can check that out. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the B10 first generation and the Vega. Um, some differences, some similarities, and it's gonna be a little challenging for me for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is my first surf ski. I've had it a year and a half, roughly. And just in the last three or four months, I've gotten really comfortable in this boat. I finally figured out leg drive, um, how to stay in it in almost any condition. So, and it's, and it's by all accounts, it's a pretty tippy boat. It's com not quite as tippy as the V14, but almost. So, because I feel really comfortable in this boat right now, and I'm trying to sell it, it's, it's I'm kind of like, uh oh. But. Are you having an emotional moment? Or? Yeah, a little bit. But I have paddled the Vega four times to date, two of those in really good downwind conditions, and light bulbs were going off on both of those downwinders. This boat linked waves easier. Um, I rode bumps longer. I caught bumps easier. Um, it surfs really well and it's light and I feel confident in the fast. What I'm learning and what I'm adjusting to is the cockpit and the foot plate position. I don't quite have the leg drive in the Vega yet. Um, like I have leg, I feel like I have really good leg drive in this boat right now, but I'm learning the leg drive in a new cockpit, new foot position. It's gonna come and it's gonna be awesome when I figure it out because the boat's so light. Um, this one is 26 and a half pounds. This one is somewhere around 18 or 19 pounds. So that gives you an idea right there. It's gonna, this one's gonna accelerate quicker in the bumps. Um, let's do some measurements. Okay, overall length. 21 feet, four inches for the Epic boat. That's the Epic, Epic. V10. Yep, first, first generation. generation. The Kaiva'a Vega is 21 feet, okay? So the Epic's about four inches longer. Measuring outside width on the bucket, the Epic is 16 inches and three quarters. So just under 17, so 16 and three quarters. You could, you could argue it's 16 and seven eighths width. Outside width on the Vega, 16 and seven eighths. Inside width of the bucket, 15 and a half. Inside width of the bucket, 15 and a quarter. One of the things that I've noticed is that the rails on the Vega are taller than on the V10. Um, which in turn makes it feel like the bucket sits a little deeper, which helps with balance. The hump in the Vega is not as high as the V10. So the rails are definitely higher in the Vega. Good inch. It's a good inch higher in this boat. I did notice in the two downwind sessions I've had in the Vega, very little water came over the side. Whereas with this boat, um, that was an issue if I, if I um, got the least bit sideways on the bump. So we're looking at uh, just a hair over eight and a quarter on the deepest part of the bucket on the Vega. And about seven and three quarters, the deepest part of the bucket mm -hmm. on the Epic V10. Gen 1, five and three quarters. 
for the hump under the legs and three three and th three and five eighths from the side here you can kind of see the extra length from that so we we put the two cockpits so that the the buckets are are side by side right um, so if you look this is kind of a true like from where the paddler sits what's the comparison you see the nose is longer on the on the v10 right um, you could also see the difference in the shape there that the vega has a, a much more vertical yes. edge on the nose coming down to the tail you can kind of see the the profile the one of the things you had noted was how thin the tail was on the vega yeah this and, this is like a i don't know like a pintail i think it almost acts like a another rudder and it really to help it track I mean, it really surfs well i would say that this boat I feel the tail slide back and forth a little bit more. Mm. That would make sense because there's more volume back here. Whereas this, being so pointed, probably holds in to the, the swell in the ocean. One of the things that really stands out when you look at these two surf skis side by side on their back like this is how much more volume there is in the nose of the Vega and how much more overall rocker there is but that's not really a surprise the Vega was made to surf the rocker in the in the Vega is obvious I mean look at that there's like more than a fist difference there um, this boat probably I mean, it's, I don't know, it looks like it'd be a lot flatter line, uh, but even, even at different points, it's still more than a fist distance. Gets, it gets flatter, the Vega gets flatter in the middle, more comparable, um, but even still, that's still, you know, of course, that could be attributed to the height of the of, of each boat. So, good amount of nose rocker in the Vega. Okay. So even in the, in the tail, now there's a it's the opposite. There's a there's more rocker. So I think that's what we we expected. We 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 expected the hull to be flatter in the epic which it is and now we're getting almost two fingers difference at the very back so the vega more rocker in the nose and tail the v10 is overall a little more flat check out the distance here between the the tail and the rudder that's about three feet on the vega and about two and a half feet here so I again I think that helps I did notice this boat turns quicker um, in part because it's a little shorter but also because the rudder is a little further up in the, in the boat yeah if you look at where where the rudder is in relation to where you sit where the paddler right. sits right the rudder is a bit yeah and that makes a difference um, so I think clearly this boat was designed with with surfing bumps I mean that's that's why he made it but I think you know he'll I, I don't know we'll find out in the flats if it I don't think it's gonna lose much much um, compared you know to flat water boats it's just fun to look at different boat designs it's fun to check it out and uh, you know I think each boat is made for for its own special purpose But I do think this is going to be awesome in the bumps, and it has proven to be that already. It just had a downwind run. I got the impression, Barry, you're you're pretty disappointed in the uh, Dude, in the Vega. Ready? I tell you what, that was a 
blast. That was so much fun.